Well, if you ever saw us out into RV land, you'd see that my wife has a bunch of these light-up things at night. And one of her favorites is this palm tree. However, I've had to buy this twice already, and it's broken again. And so I'm not going to spend another 50 bucks to buy her another one. I'm actually going to fix this one. Now what happened is it shorted right up into here. There's just no repairing the LED strip here. Simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this rope lighting. And you can see here it's wide enough that I can run the LED strip through here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rip out the LED rope lighting here. I've begun the deconstruction of the palm tree and here is what I have after I remove the LEDs from the fronds. And I'm going to use the monochrome uh, 3528 LEDs because there's no reason to go RGB. And also these are 8 millimeter wide where the RGBs are 10 millimeters and this 8 millimeters just fits perfect on the edge of these little metal fronds where the 10 millimeter would overhang the edges a little bit. And you can see here the difference in the width. Also the RGB tends to be thicker and getting this to bend over the edge like this tends to crack the silicone. Whereas these are thinner, much more flexible and they do a lot better job going around corners like that. So we're going to take the four palm fronds and we're going to put the green monochrome uh, LED strips on them. And here's a completed frond. Uh, I didn't have enough to go all the way to the end here, but I don't think it matters. And I decided not to put these little things on here because they faded and everything. And they don't really fit all that well. And so I think this fits fairly nicely. Now I did try to do this with pigtails to begin with, but I was having a lot of trouble with these things failing. And so I'm using these connectors and you can see I've got a video on how I put these connectors to use. So now I just have to make three more of these. And I disassembled the bottom by removing the old LED strip. And this actually is on two pieces. And they do fit together like that. And I put a grommet in here and feeding the wires through the bottom. And then I have another hole in here that I have not put a grommet in yet that I'll actually will feed the wires through the top. And I've also drilled a hole here and a hole here so when I get ready to put it together then I can put a rivet in here. So the next step is to take the yellow start wiring that up. And now we want to start wrapping this LED stripper on the post and I've lengthened this wire just a little bit. So we'll try to get kind of a consistent wrap. Try to get, keep it as uniform as possible. And I also have some heat shrink here and what I plan on using this for is encase the whole thing in heat shrink. And it does take some finessing to get this heat shrink on here but we're getting it done. And now I'm going to put the bottom piece on and then continue. And I uh, put the rivet in here and some of these two and then just continued on with wrapping it. And so the bottom assembly is almost done. And what I have to do now is I want to wire some connectors up here so that I can disconnect the palm fronds and make it easier to store. 
And these are the little connectors that I'm using. And they're not 100% waterproof, but I'm going to mount them so that the outside part is pointing down and the inside is up. So these are what's going to connect the palm fronds to the main trunk. Next I just made a big bundle of all the wires and the connectors and shoved them out on the end there. And then once I make sure everything's working, I'll put some compound in here to waterproof it. And just to show you how these connect, they're just little connectors that you can just pull them off and then you take that off. So you can take all the four fronds off and make a little bag I can put everything in. But this makes it a lot easier to store. And you won't see this at night. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. And now that we've completed the assembled palm tree, it doesn't look really much different than it did before, except for the fact that it does not have those little reflective strips. And the other thing I did is I bought a 15 foot DC cord. And this is a style with a 5.1 millimeter power connector, which is what all of the uh, LED strip light power supplies use, like this one. I can just plug it into this strip. Now obviously the power supply itself I have to keep inside so that uh, you know it doesn't get wet. We can put that part inside the basement storage or whatever. However, for about two to three dollars I ran across this monochrome controller. Monochrome meaning one channel. And so when I plug this into here, and then plug this into here, like that. Now see what happens. I'm going to plug this into power source. And now with this little remote, I have remote control of the palm tree. And I'm going to turn the overhead lights off so you can see it a little easier. So now with this controller, uh, if I turn it to the light, I can control the brightness. And then if I control, turn it to the mode, then I have a whole bunch of different kinds of modes that are different flashing things. There we go. That's kind of annoying. That'll annoy your neighbors. And also you can adjust the speed. So this is an SOS. And we can crank it up so it's faster. So you can't understand it. So anyway, for a couple bucks, we have a remote controlled addition to this palm tree. And again, this is only because I'm using the DC strip lights. You couldn't do this with AC powered LED strips. Now for those of you that are curious, on full brightness, this takes about 600 milliamp years at 12 volts DC. So there you go. I've repurposed the LED palm tree and even added a remote control for less than what it would cost me to buy a new one. And again, I'm going to have a web page that shows all the sources of everything that I bought here and how I wired it up and all that stuff. So if you ever run across this type of situation, then you can feel confident that you can repair something and actually make it better than what it was.